Hello and welcome once again in J Unit series by One Test Solution. This is part six. In this session, we'll talk about the basics of assertions and how to report errors. So let's uh, flip back to Eclipse, and we had uh, written this method in the past. What this method, uh, what this test basically does it, it checks for the initial balance as zero. Now. If I run this test at this point, it's going to pass. But let's let me make this test to get failed. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print some message here. Let's say sorry. And right here, let's say test started. Button. and after this assert, assert I'm going to display another uh, message let's say test finished okay and make it zero so now this test at this point in time is going to pass because this method is uh, performing well and the initial balance for a customer is always zero Let's run this test quickly. Okay, now this test is successfully has been successfully executed and it's passed and we, we can see the message here, test started, it's been printed and test finished has been printed. Now let's say I mark this test case as failed. Okay, and let's see what happens. okay so the test is failed which is correct because the x because the initial balance should be zero and we are trying to validate as uh, one it's correct but the problem here is this particular line has not been executed though it should be executed because the test was finished suc successfully okay now what happens is as soon as the assert gets failed it throws an exception of java.lang.assertion uh, error and any statement after this assert will not get executed and that's what basically the default behavior of ex ex any exception okay as soon as the exception gets encountered all the lines after that will not get executed okay now let's think of a situation let's say we are allocating some resources here um, to run test okay and as soon as the test finish i want to delocate that resource if assertion is going to fail then deal, deal allocation may not happen right so we need to control these situations on the other hand side from the testing standpoint let's say i have multiple validation criteria okay so another validation is let's say i want to validate second validation is it should be zero okay now if i run this test because this particular statement is going to fail and is going to throw an exception of type assertion error this statement will not get executed okay so how we can control these we can control these situations by using try and catch blocks okay so let's uh, implement try and catch here so i will write try and uh, i will put this statement inside the try block try and uh, we need to implement a catch catch and we'll create an object of throwable throwable okay and here we can catch probably i will write this statement inside this
okay and for now i am going to comment this we'll implement that later in the session now what happens is i have uh, uh, implemented this inside the try block now as soon as the exception comes and for sure we know right now in this method the exception is going to come because the expected is one and the actual will be zero so immediately the control will come to the catch block and it will control the exception but there is a problem here okay let's run this test and we'll see what is the issue here okay so now one problem that has been addressed that after the execution this line is also getting printed but if you look at the outcome of this test it's pass it's not good okay now why this test is passing now because we have recovered from the exception or we have controlled that exception so controlling exception is good the other thing that we need to do is we have to enforce this test to get fail okay so we now we'll talk about how to report errors so in the previous session we have seen a rule for exception now i'm going to create another rule for error collection okay so what we can do is go ahead and create a new rule rule and uh, there's a class error collector we have to create an object of error collector class error collector is equals error collector let's say i will call this as uh, error is equals to new error collector okay go and import this okay now what we can do is here uh, we will use an object of uh, hold on we have to include this also we have to do a static import here import on dot j unit sometimes this uh, import doesn't happens by shortcut j unit dot rule J unit dot rules. Dot error collector. Okay. It should be error collector. Okay. Now what we can do here is in order to report the results as fail we will use this object and i will call this here after printing this message call this error this object of error collector dot add error and we can print this object e okay now what will happen it will enforce the test to fail and it will report the error let's run this test again okay now you see both the statements this one and this one is getting printed and if you go to results you will see the test is marked as fail this time which is a good implementation okay now likewise if i have another assertion okay that i want to do so i can also again use that same try and catch block to report to implement diff multiple validation criteria or another assert so let me go ahead and change this so here this time i will use this particular assert okay and since this is coming all the way i am going to move it 
after this okay after all that right catch block so i don't have to write this all the time okay now what will happen is if uh, once this is executed successfully control will come here it will execute this and we know for the fact that this particular asset is not going to fail because the initial balance is zero so it will not come here okay but still the test will be marked as failed because one assert was failed so let's run this test again okay see both things has been printed and it has been marked as failed okay now let's do a positive test i am going to put both the validation here okay if i run this test now we know it's going to be zero the initial balance and the test should pass so let's run this and go to log and you see now it's green the test has been successfully executed all right that's all for this uh, video thanks for watching